Hi, good afternoon. I am Fox888. Today I will teach you guys how to code in Unity by using C Sharp. Uh, so far, there's not a lot of videos out there that I've seen uh, that does tutorials from the beginning for C Sharp. That's normally uh, JavaScript. C Sharp is a powerful language. Uh, it pretty much provides a lot of performance. This is going to be a game about kind of like asteroids. We're going to call it Blasteroids because we're going to have some enemies instead. And I'm actually going to add some networking towards the very end for you guys. Uh, I'm actually going to have a link on my description for you guys to download the assets as assets blasteroids. So if I were you, uh, to start, just go ahead and make a new folder. And just put it out here on the desktop. And after you're done, just go ahead and open up Unity. Now when I open Unity, uh, in my case, I have the Project Wizard as startup. The it's better normally open it that way because what if, for example, your project is already too big to load and then you have to wait for hours to be able to switch to the other projects and so forth. Uh, right? I'm going to teach you guys uh, how to make it go on the Project Wizard. So let's say, for example, your project randomly open. I just go ahead and go to Edit preferences and then in here there's a setting that says show project wizard startup and that's how you get it start up like that that way you'll have to wait to load up the big project that you have so you can open up a new one or make a new one just in case there's stuff going on and then another reason why I made the project out here in the desktop because once we get it so it's only finished as a game before networking for the unity we're gonna do unity networking first so we're gonna duplicate it and copy and paste it and then uh, that same one that we use, we're gonna duplicate it again and do it for the Photon Unity plugin. We're probably gonna use that one because it's a little bit faster. In order to use the Photon Unity plugin, you have to learn how to do Unity networking by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and then create a project with just that empty folder. I'm not gonna bring any standard assets. I'm actually gonna do it as I go. So it's, so it's more easier for you to see how everything is set up. And so I'm gonna hit click browse. Go to my desktop, look for that folder up here. Pat, pat, pat. That's right, tutorial. And cut, create, just like that. And then project started right away. Now, your view might look different than mine. If you ever want to make it the same like mine, just go ahead in here. Uh, in the upper right corner, just click on tall. And it's going to look like this. And then in the bottom left, I have the console. So you just go window, console. And then you can just click on this tab right here and drag it right here until it shows like this. Sometimes it will go weird. It's like that. So I like keeping my project just like that. So since we have our project now, we're gonna create some folders where we're gonna make sure get it ready and organized. So I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna call it imported models. And for every imported models I'm gonna create another folder. Click out and then go ahead one for scripts. Make another one for what is it? Materials. Make another one for GUI stuff. Another one for prefabs. Eventually, if you don't know what prefabs are, I might be able to sh explain you what they are. Da -da -da -da. And then I need one more for sounds. And then I'm gonna create a, a folder for all that in there. This folder and then main project. And all these folders, I'm gonna go ahead and drag them up in there. That when you see standard assets, you're gonna see another folder out here. So now go ahead, open up your extractor file and open it up, and it's gonna show this folder right here and you're gonna have a couple sound effects you can have a crosser which is a PNG file and the asteroid and a ship so inside my imported models I'm gonna make one folder for the asteroid then go ahead and drag and drop that in there and then make another folder just for the ship Uh, sorry if I didn't texture it. I just wanted to make it quick. I'm not so worried about texturing. <laughs> and then inside where it says GUI stuff, just go ahead and drag your crosser in there. 
eventually going to use it for a different kind of movement system and the sound effects folder you just drag it right in there with the sounds and then now we're set up now I'll see you guys in the next video you'll have a nice day